Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. Look at my hair today. I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it. <laughs> I'm actually wearing the ponytail from insert name here hair and I have a discount code with them you guys I have so many new discount codes I'm so excited you can check them all out in the description bar down below I have one now with ColourPop, Batty B lashes this hair company I'm so excited and obviously if you use my discount code I do make a little bit of a commission but it's a win-win for both of us cuz y'all get a little discount let's just address the elephant in the room right now my nails I know they look awful Okay, I didn't have any time. You guys don't understand. It's been crazy since I got home from Mexico, and I feel like I've been going nonstop. I haven't even had time to go get my nails fixed, so I'm really sorry for the cringy nails in this video. It won't happen again. <laughs> but listen, guys, I know they look bad. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> so today's video, I wanted to just like kind of chat, get ready with me, test out new makeup, talk about like just things going on in my life. And yeah, I feel like I haven't really sat down to film something in like almost two weeks because I do a lot of pre-filming. So uh, it's taken me a second to get back into the swing of things. I don't know how to act with this hair, to be honest. I wonder if it's like you can make an even bigger, oh, oh. This is the type of bun I live for. So since I've been away, there's been a lot of new products that have come out and I'm really excited to just kind of like sit down and test them out with you guys and kind of hang out with you guys, talk to y'all. Mercury's in retrograde, I'm dropping everything. I have been playing around with my eyebrows a bit differently lately. I've been just using like the Anastasia dip brow gel and oh my God, I really like it. And it cuts my brow time down in half. Now I just gotta find it, oh here it is. So this is what the product looks like and what I do beforehand is kind of like brush my brow hairs upwards, just kind of get them ready for the preparation. But I've been doing my brows like this, and honestly, this may be my new brow for summer. Like, I'm using the shade Soft Brown, and again, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. I think that's what it's, yeah. Oh my God, Dip Brow Gel, yeah. And I'm just gonna go in and, okay, so I feel like this works really good for girls or guys that have like thin brow hairs like myself because this is a very thick brow gel. So if you already have thick brows, I don't think you'll really wanna use something like this because it is very full coverage. But like, I have been living for it. <laughs> I hate when that happens. When you try to put it in and you just misjudge it. That's what he said. But yeah, you guys, my best friend Dana is coming into town and I'm gonna be throwing a 4th of July party. I'm really excited. Some influencers are coming, some like friends of mine are coming. I'm really, 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 really excited. And then I kind of just let this like chill for a second. And then I like to go over it and brush it a few more times. Also, like the way that you can clean it up is just like taking a little wipe and kind of like going around the areas, just like, you know, making sure everything is cleaned up. But yeah, this is how I've been doing my brows lately and I kind of live for how messy and like crazy they are. Like I'm kind of living for it and this may be like my new style, I'm not really sure. I wore my brows like this all the time in Mexico and I loved it. I may like just fill in some sparse areas, but I have really been liking my brow. Like I've just been embracing more like natural beauty cause I feel like I'm so mean to myself and I'm so like just like rude to myself. Like I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like I'm just like not the nicest person to myself. I'm trying to like embrace more natural beauty. Like I got hit on the other day with no makeup on, like literally looking like ass. I had a hat on there. It was like little beads of sweat under my eyes and like I could not believe I got hit on and I was like, I look like shit. 
Why am I getting hit on right now? You know, and they kind of just look messy. I like it. I live for it. I'm I'm kind of, I don't know. I really like it. I feel like it's a bit more natural, a bit more just like realistic. I'm sure I'll go back to the fierce brow soon, but like just to kind of switch it up for summer and have an easier brow routine, I think just like putting the Anastasia brow gel in there is amazing. Moving on to the eyes, y'all. My friend Jordan Liberty made his own palette called the Dark Room. I'm so excited for him and when you open up this palette there's really so many possibilities that you can do you have your pops of color you have your neutrals here you have your burgundies you have some cool tones there's really a lot that you can do with this and I believe the palette is available now but I'm just so proud of him and I'm so happy for Jordan he's an amazing makeup artist and photographer if you haven't checked him out Jordan Liberty is his Instagram he's absolutely amazing and I think he has a YouTube as well he's awesome he's really great I really like him he's so talented he has some of the best makeup tips out there and I'm just so I'm so happy for him so I can't wait to use this I haven't even touched into the palette yet so this is gonna be different I'm excited you'll get my first impression for real I haven't even like swatched anything but I'm gonna zoom you guys on in and get started with the eyes I'm gonna be priming my eyes today with the ColourPop no filter concealer the shade medium 24 and I have my discount code with ColourPop now you can use it on everything except for collab Labs and it's NICOL at the checkout and that'll get you 10% off and I do get a slight commission so thank you in advance for using my code if you decide to do so but I'm gonna be using this as a primer it's a really great primer actually for the eyes which is like you wouldn't think but it works like so beautifully and then using my morphe m224 brush to kind of like blend this all into the eye and while you're like up here you can definitely go up and kind of like shape your brows a bit because there is concealer like all over the lid so i i use that time to like really define the brows you guys yesterday junie got stung by a bee on her foot and it was the saddest thing ever like I always was worried about Mo because he's just my calamity. Like, he is always hurt, he's always in a cast, always getting surgery, always causing, he's looking at me like, are you talking about me, mom? Out of the two dogs, I genuinely thought that Mo was gonna be the one because Mo actually tries to chase after them and eat them, and I'm like, bud, no, don't do that. So Junie got stung by a bee yesterday, and I was like, Little poor babies. All right, so I am gonna be going into the shade right here, Solar. This is like a very light transition shade, so I'm just gonna be like setting the crease with this color. I'm not really sure what look I wanna do. Also, I haven't played around with eyeshadow in a minute either, so I feel like my creativity isn't like fully here, so I'm sorry in advance if this look that I do is like not as exciting as some of you guys want. Yeah, so that's very similar to my actual skin tone. So you're probably not gonna see it that much on camera, but in real life there is like a little bit of a tint to it. And then the next shade I'm gonna be going in with is called poolside this has a bit more color like a bit more orangey so you probably will be able to see it on camera i also have my iso up pretty high today because i felt like i don't know i felt like my beauty room since i did my declutter and rearranged it i feel like the lighting is a bit different now in here so um i bumped up the iso on my camera but yeah oh jordan these are blending out freaking beautifully you guys i have been thinking about it and I really, really am thinking about getting a breast reduction, possibly some liposuction, but we'll see. Like, honestly, we'll see about that. And I hope I don't disappoint anybody by saying that. I really, 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 really want to get a breast reduction though. And I'm going to a consultation in about a week and I'm a little bit nervous, I'm a little bit excited. If I do decide to get it done, I'm totally gonna vlog the whole experience because I know that there are a lot of girls out there. Like I had first mentioned this on Twitter and there were so many people that were like, I was thinking about getting it, like you have to let me know. So if I do get it done, I will definitely wind up 
vlogging it for you guys. But I'm nervous, like currently, like, and this might be TMI, I'm sorry if it is for like some people that don't like to talk about this kind of stuff, but like currently I'm a 32 triple D and I would love to go down to like a full C, I think, like a full C almost D. I think that that's just a bit more proportionate with my body and honestly, I have scoliosis and I have so many back problems. Like even after I'm done filming here, my back is like, ugh. So I'm just really excited and also like my boobs are like kind of spewing out the sides of tops now and like I never really had that problem before and growing up I did have like a, an, a little bit of an issue where my body created like more estrogen than it needed. So I had to like wear a padded bra in fifth grade. I shit you not like in literally fifth grade I had to wear a padded bra and I felt like very self-conscious about it. Like I know I know it's fine now like yeah own your top and I'm so for that but like also at the same time I'm tired of carrying these things around shit I've been carrying these things around for like 10 years I'm done I'm done yeah the more I like think about it and the more people I talk to that have gotten like breast reductions I'm just like dude I just got to pull the trigger and do it I'm a little bit nervous because I've never been under anesthesia before I think that's the way you're saying it. I keep saying anesthesia and I'm like wait or no I keep saying amnesia and I'm like no that's not amnesia what am I saying so I've never been under before I don't know if any of you guys have gotten like breast reductions or like have been under anesthetic and stuff like that before leave me a comment let me know how it is I am really nervous I'm more nervous that I'm gonna say like stupid shit and next I'm gonna be using the shade DTLA and going right in the crease with this shade. I am so impressed with the way that these shades are blending. They look so beautiful. My anxiety has been so heightened lately. I feel like I have an elephant sitting on my chest and I keep letting out these sighs. Like I'll be like, <sighs> and Riley's like, are you okay? Do you need your inhaler? And I'm like, no, it's just my anxiety coming at me. Okay, and then the last, oh my God, I don't know how the hell to say that, Jordan. I'm sorry, Elysium? Elysium? Well, the last shade I'm gonna be using is this Elysium mixed with Dark Horse and kind of like work in the outer V and kind of just be like out here. And I'm patting this down like really light because I don't wanna go too, too dark. Like I want this to be very, very blended. So that's why I'm kind of like taking a minute to build up that crease or the outer V rather. My terminology is all messed up. This is what happens when you don't film for like two weeks and you just pre-film stuff. I also am gonna be picking back up my Influencer on the Rise series with like tinier influencers. So if there are any influencers, micro influencers that you guys want me to have on my channel to like, you know, just help or if there's anybody that's really talented that you think, leave me a comment down below with their handle. I have a few people in mind that I wanna bring onto the channel. So we shall see when that happens, but I'm excited. I wanna pick it back up for the summer. And now that like my beauty room is cleaned, I feel like less embarrassed having people in here and stuff. So, you know. And then I'm gonna be going in with the shade Bondi right here and applying that all over the lid. Just like so. This is like a pretty neutral gold, very wearable for sure. And then he has some topper shades here like Baracko which I believe is like this topper shade. So I'm gonna go on in and, ooh yeah. It kinda adds like a little tint of green. I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but it's really pretty. Ooh, I'm like kind of feeling myself. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna kinda cut this little wing here with this wipe from Costco. And I'm actually gonna be using for the first time ever the Fenty Beauty Eyeliner. I've never used this before, and I just got it in PR, and I was so excited. So I'm gonna be using it right now. And I'm just gonna like drag it on in. Oh, where has this been all my life? Dang, did you guys know about this Fenty Beauty Liner? Nobody told me. I am impressed. Something about you. Real talk though, I'm impressed with this Fenty Beauty liner. I really like this. And it covered up everything. Like it was very pigmented. Sometimes you could use like a felt tip liner. It doesn't really like completely cover over some eyeshadow. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm sure everybody has experienced that at least once in their makeup career lives. And 
That was pigmented as hell. And now I'm gonna be using this new mascara from Lancome. It's called Hypnostrama. This is what it looks like. It's rose gold. And I haven't used any Lancome lash products and I really wanted to try a new mascara. I am gonna be putting on falsies, but mascara does matter still. I haven't worn falsies in so long. I'm not really sure. You guys probably can't see because I have my liner on, but this is a really, nice mascara it like kind of separates your lashes and really elongates them i feel like my lashes look super long right now and then i'm gonna be applying my baddie b lashes in the style extra again i do have a discount code with them it's n-i-c-o-l at the checkout. I love the way this looks, you guys. This reminds me of like how I used to do my makeup back in the day. Oh, I really like the way this looks. I'm all like sentimental right now. I'm gonna be going in for the first time ever with the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I've never used this. I bought this around the Sephora VIB sale and I was like, totally forgot that I had it. And when I was cleaning out my makeup and all that jazz, I was like, oh shit, I gotta use this. Wow, it smells really nice. It smells like oranges. And then for foundation, I'm gonna be using actually the new Smashbox foundation. Now, this was released when I was on the trip with them. This is not a sponsored video. This is not a sponsored inclusion or anything like that. And I am gonna be using the shade 3.02, which is medium undertone neutral olive. I usually have like an olive undertone. Now, I know that this shade range was a bit of a little bit of a mess. And I just wanna say that like, we made the Smashbox team aware of it. Like all of us influencers kind of like sat down, explained to them and like, you know, told them like, you know, there needs to be darker shades. Like I hope that they can produce darker shades. I know that they were definitely talking about it on the trip. However, this is a really good foundation. So it's kind of like a shitty situation because yeah, the shade range could be better, but also the foundation is so good. So I wanted to use it and just talk to you guys about the shade range and let you know that like a lot of us influencers who were on the trip like did kind of talk with Smashbox, especially like Manny and I, we were kind of like, you know, you need to help with the shade range. I know Mariale said there were a bunch of people that said stuff. So, um, you know, we definitely made the Smashbox team aware. That being said, I really do hope that they can add deeper shades to the range because this is a great foundation. This foundation is very, very, very full coverage and it dries kind of like matte, but I really like it because it has like a velvety finish. And also, it definitely does dry down fast, so I recommend applying it in sections of the face, so like, for me, I'm just gonna be doing like this little little section right here and blending it in. But this is the foundation I've been wearing a lot lately and I've been getting like a lot of really, really sweet DMs complimenting me on my skin and this is the foundation that I have been using. Also, the rest of my body is very tan compared to my face. I was smart and actually used sunscreen for once. Holy shit! You guys, I really, okay, I've had a passion for a really long time with animals and dogs. I feel like I've always spoken about that on my channel. My parents own a dog grooming business in New York and I used to work there growing up and like I've always been around dogs, we've always had dogs. So I really would love to like relatively soon open up my own like kind of like dog rescue here in LA. And I really wanna do one in Florida as well cause I do feel like there's a lot of dogs down there that like need good shelters but like what I wanna do, and I was like talking to my friend Hannah, who used to work at Vanderpump Dogs, that's where I got Mo, and she was telling me like, you know, we, cause I really would love to partner with her on it cause she has the experience. I, I don't, you know what I mean? Like I have dog grooming experience, but like, you know, I don't have the experience of like working in a shelter. And I really, I'm trying to volunteer for more shelters too, because I, I don't know. I just feel like I'm my most happiest when I'm around dogs. And I'm sure there are so many people that can relate to that. I really want to open up my own dog shelter. Like, and I think the way that I would want to do it is like make it feel really 
homey for the dogs, only maybe have 10 dogs at a time. I don't want to be like a shelter that like has a lot of dogs at a time because I do feel like it's really hard and obviously there are going to be some dogs that get neglected and I don't want that. Like I would love to have like maybe like 10 dogs at a time, seven dogs at a time and just like make it really homey and like, you know, do like merch for it and like find other ways to like, you know, just like make sure that these dogs can have a, a good life and... I don't know, I really wanna do it. Like I really would love to open up my own shelter one day. If there's anybody out there that works at a shelter or like knows some things, like if you guys have any advice, any tips, anything like that, I'm always looking for it. I don't know, a goal of mine would be like I would love to be able to start this business like endeavor maybe within the next year or so. Like I would absolutely love that. But you never know, like, shit happens, life gets, life gets in the way. So I don't want to make, like, any promises or anything. But I really, really want to do a dog shelter. Like, so bad. And I also want to help, like, those dogs that, like, need those crazy surgeries. Like, Mo, he needed his diaphragmatic hernia surgery. And that cost a fortune. Like, I would love to be able to help, like, those dogs that need these types of surgeries or need the vet care. Like, I just, I really, I'm so passionate about dogs. And, like, I don't know. I, I really want to open up my own shelter one day. This is so nice in full coverage. I can't take it. I am going to put a little bit on my neck, though, because I do feel like... We gotta blend. I can't wait for my best friend to get in town, you guys. I miss my family. I miss my family so much. It sucks living across the country from them. But I got Riley and the dog, so that makes up for it for sure. But I miss my sister so much. I miss my sissy. So yeah, this is what the Smashbox Foundation looks like. I was testing it out in Mexico, and I know firsthand that this is like a really good foundation. If you have dry skin, I highly recommend moisturizing underneath. I mean, no new news there you guys already know that and I'm going in with the Fenty concealer and I am in shade 190 I hope more brands do like summer collections because I feel like I need more like summer color more summer vibes in my life summer is my favorite season so I really hope so this is the Marc Jacobs contour stick that I've been using a lot I use it in shade tan 49 and you guys know the drill with this, just blending. I'm gonna go ahead and blend a little bit off camera, that way I can save some time with y'all. But this is just the gist of it. Oh, oh my God, it's almost back. My nodes, my nodes. Okay, so everything is blended. I got this new loose powder in the mail from Physicians Formula. Like I said, I'm trying my best to incorporate more drugstore, more affordable products for you guys. And it's their loose powder mineral wear. However, it has SPF in it, so it makes me slightly concerned that there's flashback. Oh, it comes with a little, that's cute, I like that. And the shade that I'm using is called Translucent Light. So we'll see how this works out. This could really go south real quick, so I pray to the makeup gods, please do not give me flashback. <laughs> please do not oxidize my makeup. Okay, I'm going in, there's no turning back. I do like Physician's Formula though. I do feel like, oh, I do not need that much under there. <laughs> A little goes a long way with this. I feel like Physicians Formula, they focus on really healthy ingredients for a drugstore brand and I really appreciate that a lot. Get my smile lines, get the forehead. A panini, don't you see a meanie? I love Lil Nas X. I think he like just came out on Twitter, which is like iconic. I'm so happy that he can like be himself. There is a piece of hair somewhere. Got it. And then since I kind of have like a little bit of a white cast around my eyes, like I put a little bit too much powder under this eye, um, I'm gonna spray myself with some Smashbox primer water and kind of let the powder melt into the makeup. Oh, wait a second. Did I do it? No, I don't think, I think I can do better. Hang on. No, come on! Get your shit together! Did I do it? Did I do it? <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I love fans. Yeah, that feels pretty nice. Pretty nice. Ah, shit, I forgot to use my color corrector that I wanted to use. This is the Live Tinted from Deepika. <laughs> 
I wanted to use this. Okay, next video. I mean, I could totally use it as a lipstick as well. I'll use it as a blush. Let's contour. I am using the, uh, ew, excuse me. I am using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic, and I'm just going to contour our cheekbones here. Same thing over this way, and get my chinny chin chin, my chinny chin chin. I feel like I have a chinny chin chin. Yo, I swear to you guys, for all of you young ladies and gents out there watching, wait until you turn 25. Because I swear to God, my ass got fatter, my chin got doubler, my metabolism doesn't work the way it used to. Shit's just going downhill over here, okay? And I am not here for it. My boobs are sagging. Like, I'm not into this. I'm not into this phase. Riley's like so excited to age and I'm so not excited to age. I'm like, I'm gonna be 27 in December. What the pfft? Like, I'm so, I'm weird, I don't know. I feel really old, I feel like, I don't, I'm um, like nervous. I don't know, I may be the only like psycho out there that like fears getting older. I can't be, I think I get that from my mom. My mom has said that she's 31 for like years now and I'm like, okay, what is it? Your 31 birth, your 31st birthday for the 12th year, mom? And then for highlight, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Styx Light. And this is in the shade Bullseye. It's very gold, very gold. And I'm applying it with a Morphe E8 brush. Gotta get that glow, gotta get that glow, gotta get that, get that, get that glow. Gotta get that boom, boom, bah. Gotta get that boom, boom, bah. Do you guys talk to yourself a lot? I feel like I talk to myself so much. I like practice talk, like conversations in my head. I'm such a weirdo. Like when I'm in my beauty room, I'm always like, yeah, that would be really And then what about blah, 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 blah. Like literally, I always talk to myself. I don't know why. I feel like it helps me though a lot. Like it helps me with my anxiety. And for highlight, I'm gonna be using a little Lunar Beauty Action. I bought the shade Venus. I zoomed you guys on out and I want to apply some of this Live Tinted Lush, like this multi-stick. You can use it for color correcting, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, like anything you want. And this is in the shade Perk. I'm gonna be applying it to my beauty blender and just patting it on the skin. This is like a very pale pink. It's hard to pick up on camera, but in real life, it kind of just gives you like that little bit of a rosiness. Yeah, there it is. I'm not sure if you guys can see it at all. Oh my God, I love the way this looks. I don't know why it's not coming up on camera, but I'm gonna set this with a little bit of the NARS Orgasm Blush. And this blush looks like this. It's a very pink. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of just like set where I've been loving doing like pink rosy cheeks like Ryan Potter. I think he's so cute. I love Ryan Potter. His little red rosy cheeks. I live for it. Oh, and you know what? I wanted to actually top over my highlighter with the Artist Couture. This is Golden Hour Diamond Loose Finisher. And I'm gonna wet my fan brush a little bit with Fix Plus because these are like loose little pearlies. I'm just gonna... Lightly, ooh, beach. She's a glazed donut. And then for my lower lash line, I'm basically gonna be following that same like brown smokiness. And then in my inner corner is where I wanna add some like pops of blue. So I'm gonna just like kind of get everything smudged out first. Add some of those darker colors to the outer corner. And I'm gonna wet this brush. This is like a pointy brush. And I'm gonna be using the shade Genesis right here. I think I'm gonna do Riviera, which is this turquoise color. And just kind of like pop it in there. Yeah, something like that. And I'm gonna mess around with it a bit more, but just kind of like having blue in the inner corner. Do you guys hear Mo walking around with his little toes? Okay, so I used ColourPop X Makeup Shayla Lippy Pencil in BFF3. And I'm gonna be going in with the ColourPop in the shade Cookie, which is a matte. This is the lippy stick. And I'm just gonna be applying it. And then I'm gonna finish this look off. Oh man, my hair's a little naughty now or my fake hair rather, <laughs> with a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Where's my fan? 
I like having a fan. I'm gonna have this always now. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this first impressions little makeup tutorial slash chit chat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below if there's anything that you like that I tested out today. And yeah, please consider subscribing if you like what you see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Ugh, hopefully with better nails. Bye.